Hey, I'm Dave East. I'm a director and photographer from London. Today we'll be looking at how Adobe Stock integrates within Premiere Pro. So what I've got here is a nice little sunny scene, but I want to add a bit more extra magic, especially to this shot. So what I'm going to do is go to my Libraries tab, and what's great here is Adobe Stock is directly linked to Premiere Pro, so you can search the whole library, which is great. So I'm going to search Light Leaks on Black. And search, make sure the video is ticked, and search for one you like. I actually quite like this top one, I think that will work the best. Save Preview to Library and I'm going to click the HD mode as that's what my project is in. Then I'm going to right click this video, add that to project, and that should import directly into my project. There it is there, so I'm going to bring that into my timeline. I'm going to search for the perfect moment of this little clip here. I think those will work the best. I'm going to take those away, drag it on top of my footage, just clean it up there, and make sure it's perfectly overlaid the footage, and then you click on the clip, you go to effect controls, go to opacity, and on blend mode, you click screen. This perfectly overlays it over the footage. And let's have a look at that. Yeah, that's lovely. It gives a nice bit of extra magic to the shot. I'm happy with that. So what I'm gonna do is right click and license the clip. And as we look at that, that's great. The light leak's giving a nice little finishing touch to the shot. That's how we took a light leak from Adobe Stock and imported it into our project just to add that nice bit of stylistic touch. Mm -hmm. 